Single-celled organisms have no free will as we know it and are therefore morally neutral. However, some of them by their nature cause us harm while others do us good. We call the harmful ones germs and the beneficial bacteria we call probiotics from the Greek words that mean beneficial to life. Probiotics are tiny critters that live inside us, going wherever we go, and they pay for the ride by aiding our digestion and health. And what's more, they may also help women control belly fat during the period after pregnancy. Researchers from the University of Turku in Finland studied a group of 256 pregnant women during their first trimesters. The group was subdivided into three groups. Women in one of the groups received dietary counseling and capsules containing the probiotic bacteria Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium. The second group also got the counseling plus a selection of healthful foods to take home, but received placebo capsules. And the third group just got the placebo and nothing else. One year after giving birth, women in all three groups were measured and weighed. The results? 25% of the women who had been given the probiotics and the counseling were obese, but 43% of the women who got only the counseling had become obese, as had 40% of the women who got neither probiotics nor dietary advice. So do probiotics help fight belly fat? Researchers behind these findings think so, but stress the need for further study before definitively ruling on the question. It's also unknown what effect, if any, probiotics may have on the health of unborn children. As always, if you're pregnant, consult your obstetrician before making any dietary or lifestyle changes. In our next story, Mississippi has long suffered with high obesity rates among its citizens, by some counts the highest obesity rates in the nation. Now, in an effort to curb this trend, Governor Haley Barber has signed House Bill 1530, creating a law that guarantees medical treatment for Mississippi state employees with obesity. Experts cite lifestyle factors, poor diet, and a lack of physical activity as the causes of Mississippi's obesity problem. The Magnolia State has long had one of the highest records of heart disease and other obesity-related illnesses of any state, and dietary choices are almost certainly part of the reason why. As a reporter for The Economist noted, Mississippi, quote, is famous for its hospitality, strong religious convictions, and its fried, syrupy food. Generations of Mississippians grew up on farms where everything, even collards and turnip greens, were cooked with bacon grease, ham hock, or lard, a tradition that remains today. The state employee health plan will now be required to cover medically supervised weight management programs as well as bariatric surgery for a limited number of employees. Health advocates within Mississippi are hailing the new law and calling for other states to follow Mississippi's lead. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to send us your comments on Twitter, Facebook, or in the comments box below the video player here on the Weight Loss Surgery channel. And remember to join us again next week for more weight loss surgery news. Bye-bye.